after a rather lackluster performance the previous week, Only Murders in the Building bounces back in episode 8 with a thrilling half hour that ends in the revelation of Glitter Guy's identity. Hello Darkness literally embraces the darkness and includes a wonderful rendition of the sound of silence while gradually adding and removing suspects. The unexpected sing-along, Arconia's acoustics are amazing, numerous abandoned dips, and after dark hijinks and passageways are all brought on by a citywide blackout. The investigation into Bunny's death takes a new turn, and we imagine that the shocking conclusion must be confusing viewers. The opening of the eighth episode, Hello, Darkness, is seen through Marv's perspective. He is one of the podcast's original listeners. Marv speculates that the Sixth Avenue slasher, a serial killer with a questionable method of operation, may have killed Bunny. Marv's theory, though, is mocked by the others. While Lucy is alone in Charles's apartment during the blackout, Charles, Mabel, and Oliver worry for her safety. The trio anticipates that the Arconia will become chaotic as a result of the blackout. Nina is confined to her flat since she needs to care for her newborn. She is therefore unable to manage the tenants of the building and needs Lester the gatekeeper's assistance to provide certain supplies for her baby. To reduce building costs, Nina considers getting rid of Lester. But because of his excellent temperament, Nina decides to change her mind. Howard spends time with a neighbor he has a crush on in the meantime. When Lucy goes missing, Charles, Mabel, and Oliver run to Charles's flat. After a burglar enters Charles's flat, Lucy hides within the covert passageway. Lucy struggles to hide her existence as the intruder follows after her. The group pursues Lucy into the hidden passageway and tries to stop the intruder from harming the adolescent. But when they are unable to locate Lucy, the group grows disheartened and worries for her safety. When his neighbor confesses that he is allergic to cats, Howard's time with him comes to an abrupt stop. In the final scene of the episode, Lucy manages to get away from the intruder and find Charles, Mabel, and Oliver. The group is happy to see Lucy again and pleased to learn that she is secure. Lucy admits that she was present when Bunny passed away. She claims that someone broke into Charles's apartment that evening and was probably pursuing her in the hallway. Charles and Lucy agree that Lucy's unexpected visits must end. However, the stranger overtakes the group and interrupts their talk. Oliver, Lucy, Charles, Mabel flee from the intruder and escape into the stairwell. The electricity comes back as they flee for their life, and Mabel takes advantage of the situation to capture the intruder. She trips the disguised invader using the dips in Oliver's bag. Mabel takes advantage of the opportunity to capture the intruder and reveal their name once they fall to the ground. The group thinks the man wearing the mask is the infamous glitter guy who has been giving them problems. To everyone's surprise, Marv is really shown to be the one wearing the mask. When the group discovers Marv has been scheming against them, they are shocked. Marv immediately clarifies the confusion though. Marv explains that he has experience with building maintenance and is familiar with every inch of the structure. Marv chooses to save Lucy after learning that she may be in danger during his talk with the others at the diner. Lucy further attests to Marv's credibility by noting that he is dressed differently from the man who followed her into the corridor. In the end, Marv is disqualified as a suspect by the gang. The glitter guy's identity is still unknown, though. Detective Kreps shows up at the Arconia to speak with the gang in the closing seconds of the episode. Mabel catches a glimpse of glitter behind Detective Kreps' ear during the talk. She consequently concludes that Detective Kreps is the glitter guy as a result. The startling information would clarify why the trio has been unable to uncover any leads in the murder investigation. But it's still unclear how Detective Kreps relates to Bunny's murder.